In this problem, we're going to find the curvature given this vector valued function. So the formula we're going to use only works for the curvature in three dimensions. And it's a nice formula to use because it doesn't often require really complicated derivatives. It's given by the following. It's the magnitude of r prime of t cross and then r double prime of t. So that's the numerator. And the denominator is the magnitude of r prime. And again, this I means cubed. And again, this only works for space curves. So you have to have your i, j, and k in order to use this formula. This is usually a really good formula to use uh, when you can use it, when you do have i, j, k. All right, let's go ahead and work through it. Before we do, though, let me go ahead and write this in component form just to make it a little bit easier to work with. So the first component will be t. The second component will be t squared. And the third component is simply t squared over 2. OK, so r prime is the derivative of r. So in component form, the derivative of t is 1. The derivative of t squared is 2t. And then when we take this derivative here, we end up with 2t over 2. So we just get t, so t. Let's find the second derivative, so r double prime of t. So the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of 2t is 2. And the derivative of t is 1. Okay, so now we can find the cross product. Let's do it. So r prime of t cross r double prime of t. The cross product is given by the determinant. And in the first row, we have i hat, j hat, k hat. In the second row, we have r prime, so 0, 2, 1. And in the third, oh, whoops, I messed up. That's 1, <laughs> 2, t, t. Whoops. I looked the wrong thing. So there it is. 1, 2, t, t. Good save. That's what that is. And in the second row, we have our double prime, so 0 to 1. Good stuff. So that's a 1. All right, the formula is plus minus plus. So first it's i hat, and then we cross out the first row and first column, and we're left with 2t, t, t 2, 1. Crossing out the first row and first column. So crossing this out and this out. Then it's minus j hat. Then we cross out the first row and second column, and we're left with 1, 0, t, 1. And last but not least, we cross out the, use a different color now, the first row, third column. So it's plus k hat. And it's 1, 2, t, 0, 2. Okay, let's keep going. This is equal to i hat. Then you multiply, so it's 2t times 1, so 2t, minus 2 times t, so 2t. Oh, look at that, it goes away. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> minus j hat, 1 times 1, which is 1, minus t times 0, which is 0, plus k hat, 1 times 2, which is 2, minus 2t times 0, which is 0. So this is equal to 0 i hat minus 1 j hat plus 2 k hat. Let's write this in component form. That would be 0, negative 1, 2. So this will be uh, the cross product. And we just need the magnitude of this now. So let's go ahead and jump to that right away. So the magnitude of r prime of t crossed with r double prime of t is equal to the magnitude of this vector. So we take the square root, and we square each of the components. So 0 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. So it would be 1 plus 4, so 5. 
square root of 5. So this is what's going to go up top in our formula. On the bottom, um, we have the, we need the magnitude. Let me go back up here and show you. We need the magnitude of the derivative cubed. So the magnitude of the derivative, let's find that. You take the square root and you just square each of the components. So 1 squared plus 2t squared plus t squared. So that would be 1 plus 4t squared plus t squared. So that would be 1 plus 5t squared. So then we cube that and that goes in the bottom. So let's go ahead and finish the problem here. It's a different color. So k is equal to, so the top piece is the square root of 5. Right? We worked that out before. It's the square root of 5. So square root of 5. And the bottom piece is this thing here and it's cubed. So it's the square root of 1 plus 5t squared cubed. And you can leave your answer just like that if you like. You can also write it as 1 plus 5t squared to the 3 halves, but this is a perfectly acceptable answer. I hope this video has been helpful.